Welcome on YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Morning Headlines. Today is a Wednesday. Alright, so we have good news and bad news for this episode. But here we are. Make we get into the good news first. Alright, so I'm currently on the Observer's website. And what we are noticed is unemployment drop. All right, so big headlines, unemployment job to new law. All right, so that sounds like a good piece of news for the Jamaican economy and for the stock market. All right, so hopefully the stock market can get a boost from this piece of news. So according to the observer, unemployment, Jamaica's labor market showed notable improvement in the first quarter of 2024 with the unemployment rate dropping to a historic low of 4.2%, down from 5.4%, according to the Statistical Institute of Jamaica, starting, all right? So that sound like a good piece of news for us as investors. It sounds like a good piece of news for the Jamaican economy. However, word of caution, them state that the unemployment continues to be high among youth. All right, and there is a wide gender gap in the unemployment rate. All right, so. When I talk about youths, all right, I could look on the gender gap first. All right, so more male are employed than females. All right, so according to Statin, 762,200 males are employed compared to 658,100 females. All right, so more male are employed than females. When we see this, this kind of strike, because I swear I've looked at other in an unemployment report and I think more females were being employed. Now I've got check back, all right. But here, more males are being employed, and this just goes to tell you the type of jobs that are created, all right. Youth employment, unemployment rate. With among youth is 14.8 percent all right so that's really bad 14.8 percent so that is very 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 high majority of the youth them out there now nah, do nothing can't get nothing for though you get me so that is something and this has been an issue because a long time now we say youth unemployment very high when compared to the overall unemployment rate and when i see it at ease when i see it at go down when i say any impact is being made all right now in this them i said there is a bit of reduction in the unemployment among youth but i mean at 14.8 percent that is very high so something need to be done all right so while youth unemployment has decreased to 14.8 percent it continues to focus on essentials to further engage young people in both employment and education. All right. So I think them said the unemployment are young among youth was coming from 15, 15 percent thereabout. All right. And now it reduced to 16 percent in January. And now it reduced to 14.8 percent. Yeah, it's a trend in the right direction, but still too high. Too high. Another thing was strike me is the labor participation rate. So, for those of you who don't know, all them count unemployment is persons you have to be in the labor force. And when them say you're in the labor force, they really attacks people who are actively seeking work. All right. So them just look on people who are look work over say the last two quarters. If you are look work, then you are part of the labor force. And then them say how much people out of that are work. That is what them call the employment rate and the unemployment rate. So if you now look work, and you die your yard every day now do nothing, and you're not business for work, you're not counted as a part of the labor force so your statistic wouldn't come up in the unemployment rate 
Because we know a lot of people have said 4% that sound low because and with them look reali realistically them know say a lot of people in a their community now work so they understand what I go on they must say yo the figures you don't make no sense and people are play with the figures but you have to just understand the thing so people have to actively look work before they are counted as part of the employment or unemployment rate you get me I say so they must say the labor participation uh, the labor force participation held steady with an overall participation rate of 68.8 percent all right so what am i say of the three million people in jamaica 68.8 percent of them are a part of the labor force 68.8 percent of people who are living in jamaica are look work you get me I actively seek out work now we have another 32 percent of people when a business will work you get me and uh, you have to check in the facts uh, a lot of those people might have retired already you get me i say and uh, the baby them the young people them who are fit for work you get me like baby um young people not young people but baby children not a part of the they are not a part of the the statistics they are part of the population but not a part of of, of this unemployment uh, or the labor participation rate you get me to check that into consideration all right so the amount of people outside of the labor force is six hundred and seventy two thousand seven hundred people outside of the labor force that's a lot of people you get me i say all the people out of the labor force um and more females than male out of the labor force that's what we have to look at to. so of the 672 thousand people outside of the labor force 402 thousand are female while only 270 thousand are male all right so again check the thing more male are work than female and we are said that is due to the type of jobs that is being created and here we are say we are more female the outside of the labor force almost twice as much female outside of the labor force than male meaning more males less males sit down at them yard now do not down female all right so i guess the woman them must send the man them go work and the woman them stay home ain't doing shit you get me i say no that a go on and that the, the figures i said but to get in a some story what we believe might impact your trading you get me we could get right tonight so that's not a bad look for the overall jamaican economy and one thing well, me think me have a problem with is the fact that uh, even though we have the unemployment rate of Japan and all these things, we not we not really feel any of that a show up in terms of the GDP numbers. You know, GDP still meager, GDP non grow, still at the anemic one point something percent, even though more people are work and all these things. We don't know what I go on there, so I think it's an issue where we need to fix as a country. Anyways, make we get into it. This is a piece of news that we have been talking about from our last morning headlines. You get me? The Observer is reporting that the strike has halted. All right, so strike halt relief. U.S. port workers return to work eases local concerns, but uncertainty remains. All right, so with the talk about the strike will take place. Um, and how that will impact companies listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. We said the manufacturing companies and any company where import goods as raw material or export goods to America and elsewhere. You get me? I say, we are say, those this strike will have an impact on those companies. But we see where the strike halted. All right, so I guess um yeah it's a good look so strike alt i would think everything will go back to normal and the companies them would have said yeah things are all be normal because 
the the I think the workers and the employers over the golf course are yeah the golf course port and the US East ports found some solution to the issue remember JP Morgan that investment bank overseas estimated the amount of money it will cost um, per day for the strike we're talking about billions of dollars all right so billions of dollar goods now move per day as a strike per lungs but it still has been resolved so there's some amount of ease for the co local companies all right so we have to look out for that however things continue supply chain disruption continues so we're gonna get into that so local business leaders are breathing a sigh of relief after a last minute agreement brought us east and gulf course port operators back online but in the days leading up to the resolution some supply chain managers were scrambling to secure alternative routes while others prepare for potential shortages all right so alternative route you're not a goddess so. and alternative route that mean the longer routes so instead of take the short route the more take the longer route so as the secure goods all right and that would mean added costs so them now have to bother go the longer route so we yeah, are look for um no added cost for importing raw material and all these things some of them are brewers for shortages also so we yeah, say so shortages now will be an issue going forward all right however most manufacturing companies are say even though yeah that happened but our real problem was the panama canal issue and that's still one of the issues where they might deal with you get me so this has been causing an issue for some time now and who don't know about the Panama and the panama canal issue is the fact that uh, a lot of a lot of jolt jolt a severe jolt is in the panama area you get me and as a result the panama canal water what level dropping at the panama canal is a certain ship can seal the route all right so the mother start use smaller ships to do the transportation of goods um through the panama canal so as a result of that cost ship costs or the, um, the cost of shipping goods increase all right so that's uh, one of the issue and uh, that is the main issue that uh, local companies are facing all right so something that we have to look out for that will impact um companies profit and companies result all right also because of that now you see we are a lot of company are stuck up on inventory and the facts that come closer to christmas and you know christmas period um the ports are always full and there's always an issue so what companies tend to do now at this time is to stock up on a lot of inventory so as to sustain um them operation throughout um this period of time but that stocking up on inventory is added costs to companies all right so in terms of increased warehouse costs all right so companies might not have the warehouse so they have to rent other warehouse rent other space so as to store the added goods and as a result of that there is cash flow implication for them have to fork out money where them not have so as to do these things so that is something we have to look for um in in terms of when you're analyzing your companies and uh, if you see profit job it don't necessarily means that uh, not now go after the company it could just mean that these added costs that the company have a hug up in a short period of time is what is causing the issue so don't just look at the bottom line the earnings know what is causing these earnings to fall if you see the earnings fall you get me it could be that the company is stocking up on inventory so as so sustain them operation to the period now my food of west sinko is saying that it never really did have a problem with the um the strike or the potential strike simple because you must say these things normally take time before it kick in and start affect the company's bottom line in that we think is saying look we stock up uh, what we need to stock up on that can sustain us for a certain amount of period so we're not going to look for that affect way so much you get me um 
yeah but again mafo is saying that the panama canal situation is the real real challenge all right so they must say the bigger challenge in recent months um for the wasinko group is the related panama canal issue so i guess something that we have to look out for we don't know when this panama canal thing has a solve but so far it is impacting companies that are listed on the stock exchange all right so just the other day we talked about cement shortages and everybody has said look cement short all right and the companies are rationing cement meaning you can't just go buy any amount of cement where you want it's not like that anymore all right so they might get a quota you must if you want cement we only can sell a 10 bag of cement or two bag of cement or whatever the case is you get me but here we are see a problem here we are develop and this looks sticky you get me i said because the observer is re re uh, reporting foul <laughs> consumers claim shortages are foul yeah chicken but the minister of agriculture say no nah, him not say a shortage yet because there are some studies that need to be done the need to assess the ground to see what really are going with the chicken meat thing all right so shortages restaurants local restaurants and this affect country um island wide this is impacting restaurants island wide the the cost of chicken meat them claim increased by about 50 dollars to 60 dollars per pound and as a result of that some restaurants are increased in the chicken meal all right so then put on 100 dollar upon a box food you know how we do our thing you get me um the, but the minister of agriculture i say yo yeah him realize that there are some hiccups in um the the the, the supply of meat but in not uh, attributed to shortage me not understand this <laughs> me not understand this no the minister said all right after burial burial hit he realized uh, something there's their shortage in not call it shortage i don't know where i call it but he realized that people can't get chicken as them used to. But he now has a shortage, all right? So he said, burial it and that wipe out. And it did impact um, agriculture, um, some chicken farmers, all right? So he said, the, the, the chicken industry lost some 300,000 birds. We never did know so that go on. So after burial, 300,000 birds go, gone. And guess what? The, the the and these are small poultry farmers we would have lose out that all right because cb and them big chicken farm there i guess the the the, the cubs that they have now you get me they are so they are so set that they are not impacted by storm like once upon a time like the gilbert situation when all of the four cooked them blow down no i guess technology increase and improve so things kind of different all right so the smaller man is impacted by by that by burial all right and the smaller man represent 30 percent of the chicken in the local industry so all of the small man them wipe out yeah and as a result of that chicken mother say shot but the minister of agriculture has said no you're not call it shortage <laughs> all right so note but this brother you know will sell chicken in Hanover notice him say him can't get the best just chicken all right and Caribbean boilers chicken for sell so no best just chicken no Caribbean boilers chicken him cannot source those chicken anymore all right so as a result of that you have some supermarkets and uh, some wholesales that are marrying products so let me say if you want chicken you have to buy something else with the chicken because chicken can't get and uh, this is as a means of kind of reducing the demand for the product all right so chicken shortage um what i call it chicken shortage 
Minister of Agriculture said by Friday, a study will come out there, do a true assessment of what's happening in the industry. Now, companies that this will impact on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, we are talking about Jamaican boilers. You get me? Jamaican boilers will be impacted, but how will this impact Jamaica boilers? Something more we need to talk about. If there's a shortage, it means the price might go up. So some people might look at it and say, all right, Jamaica boilers might make a bigger profit because they must sell at higher price. See? Also, you can look on it and I say, yeah, if there's shortage, it means uh, the company's revenue should fall because the company will not be able to um, to supply um, uh, uh, yeah to supply um, or do business the amount of business with the company or the, or the job you get me so one of the things that what we need to look out for I mean, believe say, coming up on this Christmas period chicken always kind of short in these times you know you get me chicken always kind of short at these times so what we notice is that the local poultry farmers the smaller poultry farmers them kind of not want the chicken at this period of time what they want to do is to save uh, it's just this period them not do not re, them not really rear no chicken until it comes closer to, to christmas because they want to catch a higher demand in you know, the christmas period when everybody are eat chicken and all these things they want them crap for, for, for the reaping at that particular time you get me that's how we know it is. so uh, before christmas the the, the period before christmas two months one month before christmas then not chicken always short and then there's a glut on the market at christmas time you get me so that is something we can look out for i don't think this will have any big impact on um jamaica boilers revenue or profit going forward just a small blip you get me i say in what's happening so we can move on from that i guess what other story bottle water quality under scrutiny all right so the observer is reporting that bottle water quality is under scrutiny and uh, which company on the jamaica stock exchange sell bottle water we are talking about lasco all right lasco manufacturer i guess them have the high cool water something like that high cool water i don't even know what near but yeah them the water will sink up with water water all right so those companies might be impacted by this piece of news make we'll see what this news i say the water but um, the bottled water quality is under scrutiny um in a bid to secure public safety head of the scientific research council src is urging bottled water producers and refill stations to maintain rigorous testing protocols all right no just the other day but there's somewhere i'm here somebody has said the water water tastes kind of heavy as if it's not pure you get me i say as if something wrong with it and them say they don't really drink the water water they drink other waters because the water something there um produced by our sink up tastes a bit too heavy but me not have a problem with it you get me i say i don't have a problem with it and here the scientific research council is saying a lot of people are complaining about these uh, bottled water all right so the calls comes in the aftermath of complaints uh, to the src from consumers inquiring about water and the water quality particularly bottled water or water from refill stations person will ask about a particular brand or a particular enterprise which we don't necessarily divulge information on all right so when the people of Galina and a complain about the water to the scientific research council they must say yo the brand of water yeah not taste good and we are wonder if something wrong with it all right but here the council is saying look <laughs> the the water most of the waters all of the waters are of high quality all right they are of high quality um and uh, them so them now gonna divulge which company water is in question you get me because and this is where we have a problem too you know the scientific research council i said them have a contract with these companies 
so them can't uh, divulge information about these companies. My understanding is it would be bad for business and it might damage the reputation and company and all of that. But in terms of, I don't know why would they want to have a contract with a company so them can't say, you get me, I say, if, if something wrong with the, the particular company's water, them can't come out, come say that. I don't know why they would want to do that. Anyways, bottom line, Watson thought this this are uh, some big people over the scientific research council. Um, she thought to reassure the public that most water bottled locally are of high quality and meet certain safety requirements. All right. So I must say, or she has said, the water them good. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but in terms of the quality, in terms of the taste of the water, as me as some people are complaining that the water, water tastes very heavy. You get me? This is what she has to say. You will have differences in flavor because some manufacturers might add minerals, extra minerals, or have a higher level of chlorine. So that will affect the taste. So taste doesn't necessarily infer quality. All right, so I'm gonna do that one more time to people who have concern about the taste of these water. And I said, maybe something wrong with the quality of the water. The lady from Scientific Research Council, I said, you might have difference in flavor because some manufacturers might add minerals. They might extract minerals or have a higher level of chlorine so that will affect the taste however the taste does not necessarily infer quality all right so i guess the water the bottled water companies then passed the test this morning we are talking about the west Sinko, we are talking about the the um i cool Alaska manufacturer i think them have water to grace kennedy bought a water company the other day i mean i remember the brand you get me but water seems to be in high demand now everybody you ever notice that locally people kind of tap drink the tap water people kind of stop drink the tap water everybody that drink bottled water all of a sudden but i don't trust these water i swear i mean let me not say me not trust the water me not think the water them different from the tap water you get me i just that me feel <laughs> seriously me not feel the water them different from the tap water but um that's that anyways what i go on in other news let me jump over to the gleaners website not much coming from the gleaner this morning we don't know what going on. this man is a wednesday morning gleaner no normally dominate on a wednesday i think it's the observers morning i think gleaner just pile up everything and just do a unload on friday you get me and that's that's the reason why we love a friday uh morning headlines because that's where most of the um the headlines come from the gleaner all right so here the gleaner I, I'm not seeing anything of value here this morning in the Gleaner business section. All right, new GI rum rules bar aging outside Jamaica. That not have nothing to do with we. As me I say, we not just want to look at news. We want to look for something that affect companies that are listed on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. China hits back, but provisional um, puts provisional tariff on European brandy all right so that now got change the price of rice the way we now have a clue what going on over this or some some war economic war going on between china and europe in terms of them brandy all right so che sues former ssl boss all right so ssl back in the news again i think this brother out that I do business with SSL Pharma Boss, you know the company where them say thief bolt the money. Big thing, me say something in the news the other day. We swear bolt or get back in money, then we hear the bolt now nah, get back in money. A bag of things are going. I swear, me never follow up that. We just want the general get back in money and make things easy. You get me? I said, no, it look like this, brother, you know, that used to do business with the brother yeah, where used to run SSL. Um, just decide, say, yo, he might take it to court. Him can't get fee money in the end of the long argument, in the end of the lele. He might take it right to court. All right. So, he must sue the SSL boss. 
um, of damage. You get me? Of 210,000 US dollar. That sound like a good piece of food. And I think he must so, um, sue him for some billions of dollars. You get me, I say? So, billion dollar lawsuit. See it here. Um, September 24 to October 3. In his 4.2 billion dollar lawsuit against SSL Growth Equity Limited. So SSL back in the news again, always for the wrong reason. And this just goes to show people. So when you have the business, you need to do business with integrity. You get me? That are the hard of the day. First and foremost, it have to be. Have to be on ethics. You get me? I say have to be on ethics and the get rich quick something there. Uh, me think is a culture that we need for this man and get rid of. You get me? I say growing wealth is always a marathon. It's always a marathon. So get rich quick. I'm think at the music. It then at the music and then it becomes a part of the culture. And then everybody feels say uh, you need to go at it and you need to get it now. You get me? As a result of that, people are willing to do unethical things. Risk your reputation to get some of uh, the almighty dollar. Anyways, this look like it for morning headlines. We're not gonna overdo it. We're not see a lot of business news this morning. It's a Wednesday morning. You get me? I say it's a Wednesday morning with normally. Um, there is normally not a lot of business news now. The Wednesday, yeah. so the top headline of the day is that unemployment rate is down to 4.8 percent, coming from 5.2 percent. All right, so that's a good look. We realize more men are work now. Woman, when you look at the labor participation rate, people who are look work, more women out of the labor force sit down at them yard and relax while the man them out that unfit unemployment among youth is of a concern has always been a concern the youth them can't get work you get me and these are the facts eh? the older people them the more senior people them were in our work we've been our work long time they now improve themselves they now move up the ladder they now move along use them resources we're gonna start some business to create some space so the younger youth them can start um and, and get space in the workforce so it's a it's a lag nobody now move nobody now develop themselves nobody now try not nobody now take no risk all right so it's a, it have a bad lag and it affect the youth then and it's a thing where we have to watch shortages continue all right last week last month we hear about the cement shortage this week we are here about shortage of chicken meat is a thing where we have to look out for bottle water the scientific research council has said the waters that are sold in jamaica are of high quality so i don't have to worry about that the taste where you taste the heavy taste where you taste in some bottle water is just because the manufacturer might take away minerals from the water or might add minerals to the water but in terms of the quality for consumption it is all good and with that we are going to leave morning headlines right just so we chat to the mud thing <laughs> I'm not afraid of